Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with Stash Dive Tuesday. Um, uh, doing it a little bit late, um, uh, like actually on at midday Tuesday. Um, I had most of it done Sunday, but uh, on Sunday the wrist, or the, not wrist pain, but hand pain, thumb pain, uh, that I had been experiencing for a couple days, got so much worse on Monday that I went to see a hand specialist. And so I have this new accessory and I have instructions not to do fine detailed work. So um, I'm gonna classify fine detailed work as peeling the backings off of um, foam tape with my left hand uh, and likewise for the foam dots. And um, I found, <clears throat> I had cut these uh, five by six triangles on um, Sunday, but I hadn't distressed them. So holding them in your hand, left hand while between your thumb and your forefinger while distressing, also not good. So I kind of had to do it this way. I, I found some way to do it and I won't do it again. <laughs> anytime soon. So, well, actually, I've got to distress this. Or do I really? It's not gonna, I'm not gonna do it long. I have the special stay in here that allows some flexibility. Normally, when I'm resting my thumb and really uh, trying to prevent its use at all, I will have to wear the more rigid stay. So, I'm going to try to quickly get this done, and if, if you don't uh, tell my doctor, I won't either. And uh, I have, um, there are a couple layouts I did before the pain started that will be, I'll be posting, so there will be stuff out there, but it won't be current. Stash Dive Tuesday, what I, the approach I usually do is kind of whatever's on my desk, because usually by the time I sit down to do it, um, I've completed several layouts kind of in a hurt, in a, in a, in a row and the stuff is still kind of on my desk. So that's kind of where I am now. I have my, a sheet and, a, um, some stickers from my, uh, last month's, um, scrap backwards kit. And then this is all from this month's Scrap Backward Kit, including the six by eight uh, Jen Hadfield pad that I cut these papers from. Um, this is the sketch I'm working from. It's a bonus sketch in the Seasons um, event over at Scrap a Sketch by Sikorsky Scraps, our, our friend Lisa. And I'm gonna do some var variation of this and it's going to be whatever season all of these papers and this photo add up to. I have no idea what it's going to look like. Probably won't look like winter. May more so look like spring with all that spring green. And I found this on the floor. It's a uh, an acrylic that may be from Scrapping Reflections or it may be from Redefine Creative because it's out of its packaging and on the floor when I tried to use it before apparently and <laughs> dropped it there. I have no idea. I have this um, jute twine. I have a, um, a metal uh, clip that has this arrow and it's the white, this is from Pink Fresh. The white that was on here has kind of yellowed, but it will fit kind of with the um, the colors that are going on there. I have these enamel dots that have these that are about the same color as his suit and I thought would be uh, suited to this as would the blue ones. I also have some sequins. Um, this is a guac it real good mixed with a whole bunch of other stuff in a special mix that um, Liz Ketter did for me uh, and, and sent me at the Scrapping Reflections retreat. And then there are some orange and gold ones in this Home Sweet Home um, collection or um, mix that's 
done by designed by Sarah Scraps, and I love it, and I have two of them. I ordered one on its own, and then I ordered a, um, a kit of, I think, five or six mixes, all designed by Sarah. And so I have two, and I, I really love those. I want to do a fall layout, one of Lisa's fall sketches, with a shaker pocket filled with these, because I think those are perfect. Um, I have some ephemera from an ephemera pack that's from Heidi Swap that was a free gift with purchase from scrapbook.com, and there's my Jen Hadfield, and those colors kind of go together. I need a bee, and I can't find my bees that I had so many of during Calvin Ball. I can't believe that I used them all, but Paige Evans' new collection has a couple bees on a, one of the sticker sheets. And then I'm going to keep these stickers here uh, as I finish things off. I found a stamp on the floor. I've been doing some cleaning since I couldn't scrap. I thought I would organize and clean. So I found this little, um, it's like three little hexagons. So instead of the mixed media that's behind these triangles in Lisa's sketch, uh, after the thing is put together, I'm just going to go around kind of stamping these in a fairly understated color, this tattered rose, which was out on my desk from another layout. So let's start putting this guy together. In the sketch, what I really like is that there are these tall ones and then a set of smaller ones. And mine are all the same size. So I'm gonna put them like this and I'll put the photo here and I'll embellish to cover that blank spot, that empty spot. I was gonna put these on foam, but I'm not. <laughs> I want to finish this kind of in a hurry because even bending and holding that piece of paper like that is a little bit painful. I had a cortisone shot in it yesterday, and, and I, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about what I did to it or, you know, to, to cause this, I, and I, I think the answer to that is I got old. Um, it's just uh, arthritis that was, that's very advanced that was kind of sitting there waiting to um, rear its ugly head, and Something I did, and it could have been gripping the steering wheel for all that driving I did last weekend, or it could be um, I got some, uh, how do I say, it's, it's uh, extra strong tape to hang light photos or, or framed uh, artwork. And I, when, I don't know, you all may remember when I had the um, problem with uh, mold when the, all the water was dumping in the house, um, <clears throat> they had to tear down all the sheetrock in the uh, first room that the water entered. And I'm just going to kind of stick that there and I'll put something there. Um, so they, they had to, I had to take all the pictures down and, and I, it's John's workshop and we had it filled with, um, uh, artwork and, uh, not photos, but, um, artwork that we collected on our travels. So they were like watercolors or in um, Fiji, we collected some tapestries uh, or, or textiles, I guess, uh, woven in that uh, characteristic Fijian pattern. It's um, just kind of an eclectic mix of all kinds of things. I bought some postcards in Mykonos, Greece, and then I used some scrapping paper and um, mounted them on that and uh, did a um, a group and framed them. And I did a group of three 
um, pictures that, and they're just beautiful. They look like original watercolor paintings and, but they were cheap postcards in a, see, I'm trying, my left hand is much more adept at, I'm right-handed, but I do all this peeling work apparently with my left hand and it's very hard not to do that now, especially when I'm having trouble. And I have to stop doing that. I have to stop scrapping altogether uh, if I can't, you know, change my processes up a bit. So I'm going to do this kind of slightly overlapping that. And I'm going to do this tag with some foam. And I may just have to use the foam sheets and add regular adhesive rather than um, the, the foam tape in the rolls. So we shall see. I'm just gonna kind of put this in sideways and let it pop up. And I may add some twine later, some of this jute. Let me cut some. I have to cut kind of a straight piece because it was wrapped around a cord, a card, not cord, it is cord. It was wrapped around a card and it, um, let's see, I have a stapler somewhere. Hopefully it has staples in it. I'm gonna just feed this through. There's no possible way I can ever tie a bow, maybe ever again. <laughs> Um, it, it's that kind of detail work is just, I think, out of the question from now on. So I'll have to buy pre-tied bows. Okay, and I will, I think it's just, it's a different kind of look from a bow to have it fed through and stapled, but I don't mind it. I, I kind of like it actually. So I have this piece of foam and you see how much I'm doing with my left hand and I'm possibly not supposed to. So I'm gonna put that there. I wish I had put this green one over here instead of here, but I kind of like that green showing through. I'm going to do a, um, a floral here. Kind of because I like it, of course, but he's dressed up for prom and there you can see the other prom attendees back behind there waiting for their photo ops. Okay, let's see. I can put that like that. And then my title, well, not my title, but a phrase I wanna use on here is this one that says, what, what, <laughs> what, what, kind of based on his pose. So if I do that hanging off the picture, it covers the end of that film strip that doesn't, that isn't complete, that's kind of just cut off. So I've got that on there and I wanna do the B. Boy, I'm glad it's not my right hand that's acted up. Anyway, I said I have got old. It's, it's you know, like I said, it's arthritis has been waiting to flare up. And, and I think it could have been the drive or it could be uh, a lot of peeling of the back of that tape. Or it could be that I haven't, I, on the trip, and don't tell my cardiologist, I had a couple Starbucks. I, I ordered decaf. I'm not supposed to have caffeine, as you may know, because of my 
um, AFib, my heart condition, and I had some decaf, which was even Starbucks decaf has more caffeine than your standard, you know, cup of coffee in the morning at home. So, and I, I, I was thinking, I had some other florals I was considering using. I was thinking of using this there, kind of close to these. But what I may do is layer that camera right there to somewhat um, mute that color. Although I have a, a lime green butterfly in this um, Paige Evans collection that is calling my name. And I may put it somewhere around there. And I've got this little wood grain camera. What I haven't done is that kind of center thing. And I have a bit, okay, I can do that. And then I may put this little, butterfly. I'll call this my lime green corner. What the heck? It's, uh, I don't see anything else I want to use from there. I did see something on here. <coughs> This nope would be good, except that I, it's the wrong color. Um, I don't have any red on here and I don't intend to. I do have this lime green arrow. And see, I started to peel it off with my left hand and I can't do that. I have to, um, I have to do those things with my right hand now. Okay, and it could go like maybe right there or right there. Well, that says captured already, so I'm going to put it back. Sorry. I'm just going to kind of stick it there. And I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to go here. And what I wanted to do was use this O snap. And I could put it here or or put the o here i could i could run it along here horizontally or i could just use what what as my title let's just do that i'll put that aside back with my kit stuff from last month what i wanted to use here was this kind of this geotag because it matches that color so well. And I thought maybe I could do it. I could do it there or there. And where is that um, foam dot? I'll pull another one. I'm going to put it right on the back here. Um, and I peel that off with my right hand. So maybe here. And it would, I don't, I don't like that. I think this might be the best place for it. And I have a, an arrow that says, check this out. And I'm gonna try and see if it's, I could do it like that. 
and then put some foam behind it. I'm gonna get another dot, because they're easy to peel. And I'll put it kind of right there, which should be off the photo. Oh, that hurts. Again, don't tell my doctor. He, um, he said, what do you do for work? And I said, well, it's not exactly work. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's a, a hobby that I'm truly dedicated to. Okay, that holds it up. Um, just right, and it seems like I'm gonna need some things around there, but a little uh, kind of flow of sequins kind of coming down there. And it seems like I need something on this tag, so let's go see if we can find anything. Um, there's another check this out, but I don't think I want that. And I think I'm done using things from this sticker sheet, so that goes back with last month's kit. I had thought about using this, um, either this craft uh, border strip or this um, torn notebook border strip kind of coming out. Let's just see for the heck of it. If I had it kind of coming out to there and then another piece, even with that, but I've already got this on here and it wouldn't, um, if I kind of had that coming out there, that's a little low for right there. So I'm gonna say no to this. I'll try to get it back in its rightful place. I think I've done this two or three times. I do like this orange, this is the life, though. Maybe that could go right here. And it needs to be on some foam, of course. And I'll try to, see, just holding the foam with my left hand while I cut it with scissors, not you know, something I, I have taken for granted doing all these years. <laughs> now, now I can't. So I'm just going to put that there, and that will be, this will be the, the vertical, the horizontal um, structure, if you will, over on this side, and this will be it on this side, and then I'll try to embellish around there. I thought for a minute about using some of this um, jute, but I think I will put it aside. I've used as much as I want right there. Okay, so this one uh, is this month, so I'm gonna keep that right there. Um, I was hoping to find something um, teal-ish um, because this is in Georgia and his date was a true Georgia peach. Maybe that somehow layered right here and there. Why not? That's random and that's what we're all about, right? And I'm using stash. I don't have that many um, places I would use either of these things. I mean, I do have garden photos that the little watering can would be a appropriate for, but they were out in a beautiful garden, so that's appropriate here, right? So I'll put that there, kind of going up that way, 
and I'll do this one layered on top of it and I'm peeling it with my right thumb so I'll start creating problems for my right thumb because in this the the arthritis in my right hand has had just as long to develop <laughs> just as many years to develop as in my left hand and I just don't want to do anything that will trigger it um, there's a little box of flowers right here. That might look cute layered on there. Whoops, I, pe I peeled that one with my right hand. I could do that. And then I can add some sequins or something. I think I may be done with stickers. Let's see if there's anything on here. I like this key. It's a polka dot key sticker. And it means nothing um, to the story, but it could be kind of cute. Just layered right in here, maybe on there. And I'm gonna put some liquid adhesive, if I forget where, I'm gonna put some right there and some right there. And we'll see if I hit the right spots. not at much of an angle there, but that will work. Okay, so the word says captured, and here's the key to unlock whatever's been captured, or whoever's been captured. <laughs> um, I think that's all from this sticker sheet. And I think I've got everything from this one. Um, let's see what we have here. This says Deluxe Edition, and it's in that green that I like. And it seems like I ought to be able to use that somewhere. See, it's green on green there. And that actually kind of looks nice. Um, I'm gonna use a small piece of foam. Oh, come now. I'll back it and free up my hand at the same time. Right there, and then I may put a small little flower just to draw your eye so that you can notice that it's there. There we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a similar little flower over, I'm gonna try to find three of them. And I use one over in this grouping. Let's see, I'm looking specifically for yellow. Here's a larger one. And it may be, I've got that one there and that one there. This one maybe needs to go either up here There, just kind of makes that into a bit of a triangle. Okay, on this sticker sheet, I really like this laugh and this tiny green heart 
the having fun, all of the green things. And they kind of add um, a bit of um, a, a brighter, prettier green color that's more, that's closer to this chartreuse green than the, um, than this darker. And I just need to find the right place to put it. Here or here. It's just perfect for the page. How about if I kind of put it right here and I'll curl it up, which requires that pinching movement that hurts. I'll do that. And then I've got this laugh bit, which could maybe go right here. Because he is clearly mugging for the camera. Um, this having fun bit is kind of in two parts. Maybe one part of it could go on the photo and the other kind of sticks up like a tab. That works, and then I can do some sequins up there. And the Explore I can leave for another. The Experiment, the Cross, though, maybe could work over here. Or since that green is there, I could maybe bring it over here. Or maybe right in here. It's hard to know which way to orient it. So because of that, I might make it an X. Um, then it kind of works with both of those angles. That kind of works. And it's beginning to feel like I'm just adding things to add things. So that's a sure sign that I need to stop, but I am gonna use this little tiny green heart for this, and then I can use some sequins kind of trailing up. And there's something else small and green that I saw on here. Um, I guess that's it. I guess. There's a, a turquoise star, but I don't want that. There is a, an orange geotag with the star, but I've got my geotag okay. I've got, um, oh, oh, okay. It's not, it's, it's pink, and it says B, and we call him B. So I'm going to just kind of put it over here in a grouping with that pink flower. And that kind of just adds a little pink. I may need a little tiny bit of pink over here. So why don't I use this little tiny pink heart down here and I'll work some sequins around that. Okay, I think that's it for papers and stickers and let me and ephemera. Let me put that aside and let's do some sequining. I think that's a word, don't you think? One, two, three, four, and then the, the heart makes five. So I'm gonna take some of these, that's the green corner, and this is the orange corner. So I'm gonna go green here and orange here. I probably should do it opposite, but for this one I'm gonna go 
um, let me go this way. Okay, there. I love those kind of circle-y ones. I'm not going to put an avocado, even though there are avocados in here. I'm going to kind of mix in some neutral-ish looking bits that are just a little bit off-white. Kind of the gold, picking up on the golds and so forth in there. And then here's another kind of a different green that's small, and that works there. Okay, I'm going to pull one of, I'm going to do the other sequin trail starting here, and I don't know about you, but these things kind of look like kites, and I thought a trail of sequins might kind of evoke a, the tail of a kite. There are some tiny little orangey gold flowers in here that I thought might be a nice ending size and color. And there's another one in that mix that's also small. And so now I'm going to put these back and I'll start using the orange and gold ones from the Home Sweet Home mix. I'll put the guac it real good away. Just pressing and, and pulling apart Ziploc bags is hard or is painful, which therefore makes it hard. <laughs> makes me not want to do it, if, if I must say. Okay, so the, none of these are particularly big, but there are some cupped ones and some uncupped ones. I'm going to put that one, that's an uncupped, and it's holographic. And I'm going to take a gold one and put it there, and it's just going to sparkle. The color's not going to show up much. I'm going to take a, I wish the orange ones were different sizes, but they're not. I'm still wanting to reinforce kind of an orange feel to this. So I'm going to put three orange ones in this little trail, and then I'll fill the rest in with what looks like a single size of gold as well. So I'm glad I added that little flower at the end there. Okay, and now I'm going to do some enamel dots here and some enamel dots there. Just in a couple places where we don't have sequins. And I, I normally don't mix enamel dots and sequins on pages, but I did it the other day and I really liked it. And I got some compliments. So, and I, I Sally, I'm not quite sure if yours was um, real or tongue in cheek. <laughs> you, know, you said that the, my, with all the other stuff that was on the page, the enamel dots kind of, um, were the perfect finishing touch. And in fact, I liked them, but I'm not so sure they were meant to be, a, you know, a, 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 one of the main attractions, and she may not have either. Okay, so I, I found a, a, this dark blue one over here on my table, and I just decided to use it. So I'm just going to kind of do a 
a few sizes and colors of these and kind of mix them up and do something like uh, a kind of a trail down, sort of like I do the sequins. And I'll do the same up here. I'm going to put a big green one here because this is going to introduce yet another color of green. You see that same green in the little, uh, the O and the A on, on the word today, but um, it's not anywhere else. So I thought, well, kind of maybe like right there. I have to stop doing these things with my left hand. My right hand needs to work harder. Give my left hand a break. Let's put it here and then I'm gonna add another blue one right there and a little cream one here. I don't like that. Okay, let's move this over here and maybe this. I like finishing with a little triangle of them that is is pleasing. So we've got these two extras and I want to use those maybe one right there, and I'm gonna kill this sheet. Where does this one go? Maybe here, to kind of draw your attention to kind of create a little bit of a cluster for that one. Okay, I'm done. There's a whole mix of, um, of collections and stuff, collections and stuff. Let me add the very um, subtle mixed media. At least I'm hoping it comes out subtle. I'm gonna kinda And I'm not really trying too hard for those to be lined up or anything, although if it if they were it wouldn't hurt. And I'm gonna overlap the triangles in some places. Like right there, and right there, and right there. And in some cases, doing um, more, some cases doing secondary stamps in addition to the primary. And I'll just kind of put one right in there and one right in there one stamp's worth. Maybe one there and there. Do that. And just just to kind of make it look like there was it was a background before I started putting these other things on. I don't know if that's I I I get the sense now that I'm making it worse. <laughs> making things worse. So, but I don't mind it because it is fairly, um, fairly subdued. So this is it. Thank you for watching. And uh, I'm probably going to be cutting back or down on, on my videos uh, while this is, is trying to heal. I had an injection that helped with the pain and that's what I'm working on today. But he warned me that the in injection relieved yesterday's pain and the relief will only last as long as I get, give this rest. So, you know. <laughs>
I, I guess he knows more than me. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.